Hello once again, internet every peoples, and welcome back to Let's Play Neo Contra. Today, we have a nice and special treat for you. Mission 4 is probably the most difficult of the initial four missions, but in terms of where this game is going, its overall tone, its style, just everything that this game is going for, I feel can be accurately summed up by the entirety of this one mission. Uh, it is it is a treat, and I guarantee you are you are set to be entertained. You will enjoy every single second of this episode, or you won't, and that'll be weird. Man, it's gonna be real weird when I get like 97 dislikes. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get this thing started. I've hyped it up enough, let's go. Bill Riser never skips leg day. Just the first time I played this game, at this point, it was just like, okay, yeah, this this game knows what it is and, and what it's doing. Um even more so later, but for now, um these little flying guys, I don't think they I, I've never seen them attack. They just seem like lock-on fodder for the sake of having lock-on fodder. I've never seen them do anything that could ever be considered a threat. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this stage is just very silly. I don't even know how this whole running on helicopter blades thing works like, at all. Um, it's just utter silliness, and that's kind of what you come to Contra for. Um, but yeah, there's another mini boss, just kind of in and out. That boss can actually get way more out of hand if you're not careful uh, in dealing with the little bombs he's laying around the place. But now we have this thing, and this is a hit rate nightmare, um, especially with the weapon set I'm using. You're gonna get a few kind of shots at, at, at each side of this uh, attack vessel, but after that, like, you you get cut off from actually taking out all the guns, so each gun has to be taken off to get all of the hit rate, and you kind of want to come out of this with 35 or you missed something, but it's really kind of hard to do while also dodging the incoming shots because they have a shitload of range on them, but boom, nailed it. But, I, you know, what the fuck ever, uh, that thing hardly a threat at all to, I guess, this gigantic battleship that is now. <laughs> Look at this stupid shit. Okay, so now we're just gonna land harmlessly on a battleship. And this is one of the more intense running gun portions of the game. Uh, in terms of just how dense the the uh, enemy patterns are and how much stuff you kind of have to hunt down and find. You've got to clear out both sides of this uh, uh, of the deck of the uh, of, of the battleship here, and it can be pretty trying uh, because the enemies do like to get nice and happy, get up in your face, and swarm the crap out of you. And a lot of the enemy types that they put into position are there to kind of slow you down to allow that to happen. So you've got to deal with your standard mooks and then kind of be wary of everything that's happening to both sides of the deck right now. I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this. Jesus. Okay. Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. I'm playing probably a little too safe here, but better safe than sorry, right? There we go. All right. So yeah, these shield guys become way more annoying in this stage than they would any other uh, encounter we've had with them. All right, perfect spin to win there. You've got to get up in this thing's face because none of your weapons can actually roll up that damn hill. So you kind of got to get in that one's face. Only way to do it. So now we've got missile dudes 
running dudes. We got shit launching every single missile in the world at us. While we kind of just dance around and just kind of like work your way around it in a little U pattern. And we're going to get locked in. This can be a little dangerous. This thing goes out pretty fast no matter what. Lock on. There you go. That thing can usually go crazy. The, the number of orbs that it spits out uh, while it's active, like, can be pretty high. Like, getting just one, that was that was a lot of luck, but that, I've seen that thing spit out, like, six and eight at a time, and it's way harder to dodge, so... Okay. So now we're getting to the really hard portion of the stage where we've got these cannons. Fuck! Talk less, play more! <laughs> you got these cannons on either side. And you kind of got to wipe out everything to both sides while timing your way through these cannon shots. And then get pushed back by all of the artillery going off. It's Boy, this stage is really fucking active. It is really hard to talk and play this. Okay. Um, so how you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm playing Neo Contra. It's kind of hard. Wow, that's a nice angle on those shots there. Never seen that before. I think I got it. Yeah. Slip through. Aha! Lightning. Went through the wall there. That was nice. Which is good because I typically don't see the lightning go through many objects like that, so I wasn't sure that would work. But just like that, we've reached the end of the stage, and I'm just gonna let this cutscene play out. You'll see why. This cutscene doesn't need me. And you are Animal Contra, the captain of this aircraft carrier. <laughs> so, another of the four elite. So thoughtful of you to wander blindly into my trap. <laughs> A trap? Indeed. This ship is about to self-destruct. You will die. A moth drawn to my flame. You, dog, you're gonna sacrifice your own men. <laughs> Flutter about all you want. Your time is over. <laughs> Wait, if you were truly a captain, you'd go down with a ship. We won't let you get away. You. Dog! That's the fucking line of the game right there. Um, so, we're gonna fight Animal Contra, and this is not a difficult boss at all. This is probably the easiest boss in the game. The only thing that really kind of makes it a little difficult is that the angles are a little weird. Um, but I find that if you just take out one of these things right from the get-go, all of his other attacks are just kind of pointless. Like, they don't do much because he can't complete the pattern. And this is the last half of the fight here. Uh, we just kind of got to work our way around him. And while he's doing a spinny laser thing, and this is it. Like, this is the boss fight, which it's much less involved than all of the other boss fights so far. I was a little disappointed with all of the promise that Animal Contra has as an amazing boss. Like, this is all we got. But we, but we will always have that amazing cutscene. And Team Puppo is blasting off again. So there's another stage down. Uh, we took another death, not a big deal. We're still maintaining an S rank. So we've got a 98 and a 99%. And no special cutscene after this stage either. So after this, we're going right into Mission 5, which this is where the game starts playing for keeps this is for the really reels uh this this level does not fuck around um it's long it's difficult and the bosses are very very like you've got to be on your game but um that's gonna do it for this episode we're getting ready to cruise into the finale of the game just a bit more to go so hang in there and i hope to catch you next time peace